Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the 12th and final episode of Kakushigoto. And last episode, we had like family meetings, we had meetings that were t t for the point of obtaining colored pages apparently. We also had birthday party, which was a lot of fun because we had our local idol come over, singing her, you know, amazing song. I think we got like one, one, one sentence out of it, uh, with Tashiga Ichiban Kawaii or something like that. It was amazing. Just best, best thing I've ever seen. And yeah, just the birthday party was a lot of fun, even though some people try to give gifts to somebody other than the birthday girl because they're, they got their own problems. But yeah, that was the episode. And the preview is really, really piqued my, piqued my interest because there was something about, well, something about a sister, but more importantly, something about a love child, you know, Kakush Kakushigo or Ko, something like that, the Japanese term for it, which continues, of course, the Kakushi running gag of the whole show, which is just completely lost in translation there, because English is a very different term for it, clearly. So, yeah, I definitely want to know what that's about, you know, bringing that up, like, in the last episode, pretty, pretty big deal, so hopefully we can get some answers there in that, in that regard here, so, yeah, let's, let's just jump on in and see what we get. Three, two, one, cut. Bum, 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 bum. The ocean. Yeah, I was about to say, it looks like we are starting in the future now. Already a title drop 30 seconds in. And then we find out all the secrets. His manga. A really strong wind. <laughs> Yeah, we figured out a lot throughout these 11 episodes. But what else will you find out? Anything left to discover? Well, I guess that would be something left to discover. And we have a visitor. Hello, are you the, uh, about to say, are you the, uh, the secret child? I, I guess so. <laughs> I, presumably, I, apparently not. Okay, just gonna end off with a no and just no explanation beyond that, just, just the opening. <laughs> If it looks a lot like Kakushi. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. She didn't fall. So I wonder if this whole episode is going to be taking place like in like in the future, not any of the past stuff. It seems like it might. Hidden truths, Himegoto. Okay, well then tell us something. Oh, oh, is he the one? Uh, I, I guess.
Don't remember him too well. So I guess that was a big thing. <laughs> that would be a very different career path. A little bit. Huh. It's quite nice. Very artistic. Yeah, I I had no idea either. I mean, she's been getting a lot of secrets today, so... I guess that would be a relief. Yeah, was there any doubts about that? Is that a bad thing? So what's up here? Okay. Gotcha. Personal interest. How personal are we talking? Just don't drop anything. Which you probably are... Uh, yeah, it wasn't really his fault. Aw oh, man, what a way to go though, dying by a typhoon of manga. Ouch, it was still hurt though. It's like kind of too comical to take too seriously. Not cool. But it still happens. Over a year. Yeah, even the arm there looks pretty lifeless. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, I... <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> Damn. Zach made the for sale sign, yeah. Okay. So the wife was the one that... Okay. That's good to know. Although, you know, probably just only gonna find her, though. <sighs> wow, really? Yeah, that's pretty messed up. It's good to hear, at least. Keep saying that. Uh, 
Oh. Okay. Yeah. Very important to know. Ringtone? Oh, what about him? You can't just cut off there, tell me the rest. Okay, it's nice seeing you, I guess. <laughs> huh, okay, well there they arrived finally. <laughs> Stay focused. Okay, that's definitely good news. Yeah. So yeah, now we're yeah, finally going back to the good news, bad news thing. Did this say women's medical? Are you doing okay? Oh. Oh no. Ouch. Uh Yeah, don't just don't kill him off like that. Yeah, how could that even be possible? Ah, uh, right. So, okay. Cuz not as bad as it could be then. Still pretty bad. Maybe they were rough years. Like, I'm sure you'll get the memories back. It, yeah. There were some good times back then. Yeah, he's not going to forget that. That's the important thing. I think he wants to leave. He's, I don't blame him. He's probably been here for a while. He is here. Doing a good job of calming him down. Yeah. I mean, he's put up a pretty good struggle there. I had a feeling he was going to say that. Back to his manga life. Shut up! You be quiet! Yeah, don't... Don't make things complicated. Yeah, we gotta ease him into it, somehow. This is definitely a tricky situation. <laughs> well, back to the good old days, just all drawing together in the same room. Very nostalgic view. I think it's a see it firsthand. Because he doesn't know he needs to hide it from her because he doesn't know that's him. Eh? So she finally gets to see it. And even gets to help with it, it seems. That means she's in a pretty good position to watch over him. Eh? <laughs> but true.
Hmm. It's so hard to respond to that. Tights in the wind. Or these socks. The gang is all here. Good question. There's nothing wrong with that, you were a child. Yeah, I saw firsthand. As much fun as you can have in a hospital bed. I can definitely see that logic. He remembers the the other one, you know, the past Hime, which is something. Just gotta tell him that she went through a quick growth growth spurt. <clears throat> Our detective agency is forever. It is nice that we're all still friends. Although now that they're older, some of them definitely look like Sayonara Zetsubuk Sensei characters. I think even more so. The doggies, yeah, gotten quite bigger. <coughs> Fluffy. You can still draw, which is good. <laughs> Just. Yeah, I mean, what were you expecting? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's how these things work. Or you hit them in the head again. The Made in Black's work. <laughs> I mean, it only really helps the hands, though. <laughs> what's, yeah, what's going on here? Well, it involves you, so it's really about what to do about you, specifically. <laughs> Make sure, whatever. He was probably pretty unhappy at that point. Uh, I don't like how dead those eyes look. Is he man being happy? Right. Of course. At the end of the day, that's what truly matters. Oh, uh, they come back? Oh, no, she just left. Right. So where is she running off to now? In the hospital? Which is not a good place to run through the hallways, by the way. I have no idea what she's thinking here. Okay, I still don't quite know what she's referring to. That is not true, Hime. That's true. 
and the gang is out here. Yeah, we've been we've been looking for work, so no no complaints here. Back to running. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we've been running the whole time, aside from the train ride. Don't fall. And they're coming back. Okay, what did they bring? Shut up. <laughs> Just shut up. Oh, the manga. I guess I guess it would be something to bring over. I guess that makes sense. It's a fine piece of literature. I think you'll like it. Snakin'. You know, there's more. I'll be, there's a lot more. <laughs> Clearly a very classy manga. The final battle, the ending. It really does look ridiculous with tights on his head. I mean, you probably get used to it if you if you read the manga, but we only see bits of it, so. <laughs> and dogs here too. And nobody will remember. Memories just coming back to <laughs> And there's an actual honey mask. And even I think he had the bat there too. He just completely becoming the Oni. I'm Once in a lifetime. High school uh, middle school graduation. <laughs> Or entrance ceremony, rather. <laughs> and now he's fully remembered. So what do you do? And there we go. <laughs> uh, it's a little bit too late for that now, man. <laughs> I mean, I think it's good. Yes. <laughs> How many times can we say Kakushigoto in one sentence? <laughs> I, yeah, we can't have that. She was on the other foot now. <laughs> I wouldn't expect you to. Although I'd be okay with it. Man, a year's worth, ouch. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty great. Is there a problem? Yeah, she, I'm sure she can handle it now. <laughs> I'd be a little bit too meta, we can't be doing that. Yeah, nobody would. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Really should have kept track of the amount of Kaku Shigo toes in the episode. But yeah, that 
that was the twelfth and final episode of Kaku Shigoto. And yeah, it definitely felt like a really conclusive finale. Like, I have no idea, you know, if the source material is concluded or not, but this was, this did feel like a very, very conclusive, very satisfying kind of ending. More so than you would usually get in anime. So I'm pretty happy with it. Like, pretty much any question that we had was pretty, pretty much answered here, right? The stuff that people found out that caused the, you know, the, the rift with him and his readers and all that. The whole, you know, all that stuff, the whole family, family circumstances, as there's now completely up in the air. And we got... Uh, Hime, who met her like half brother, I think he said he was, you know, which talked to her briefly, then left, you know, and seems to be glad they didn't have to deal with any waterworks in the in the encounter. And the, and the good news and bad news that was mentioned before was it never followed up on. We got information about that, which was good news as he woke up from his coma. Bad news is he doesn't remember the last seven years. So, yeah, that's that, that definitely qualifies as good news, bad news, I would say. But yeah, we got all the answers we could really i'm not gonna go over all of them but we got pretty much every answer we could go for like oh yeah also like the the wife thing apparently what happened to her was she was the one that was missing you know in that one paper that i mentioned i guess and he's been kind of just hoping to find her ever since then it seems like although yeah that's probably not going to going to happen but also he got hit by like a like a big old thing of manga just crushed him, which is just, again, a little bit too comical to take too seriously. And they even make jokes about it, you know. Uh, what, was, what was it that Tom Marine said something about it? if it was some other publisher or whatever? It wouldn't have been so bad because they would have, they have less books or whatever. Just That was a pretty funny, pretty funny gag there for sure. But yeah, luckily he's not dead. I mean, the show kind of tried to make us think that for a while, but it's not it's not quite that bad. It's just he was in the hospital for like a year unconscious, which is still pretty bad, but not it's nowhere near as bad as just being dead because there's no hope at that point. But at this with this, not only is there hope, but the actual woke up and eventually got his memory back thanks to thanks to him his hard work because yeah pretty straightforward solution to the problem she just went over to get his manga brought it back to him and said dad here this is your life's work this is stuff you did in that seven year gap that you don't remember at that point just you remembered everything all about Hime you know her all of her yeah all of her stuff all of her school stuff like the middle school entrance ceremony and all that and just it just it was funny that I after that he tries to hide the manga even though it's like she gave that to him and there's no point he there, no you can't hide it at this point man I don't know why he even tried but it was funny for sure and some people just really can't keep secrets like every five seconds he because he's trying to blurt out like oh yeah he man like if you call her he man he'll know that that's he man like stop stop as far as final episodes go, I think this one's this one was done pretty well. All the emotional stuff was handled pretty well, you know. Just so some things like when he said that, you know, drawing the manga is not what makes him happy. It's just he meant being happy. That's what truly matters to him. That's what's put above all else. And just yeah, there's a lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff like that in the episode for sure. Even though they still managed to keep a decent amount of comedy in there as well, without it feeling like it was taken away from anything else. I mean, uh, yeah, the show, obviously, it is a comedy anime at its root, so nothing, it never gets really too dark. The only real, the only real dark aspect of the, aspect of the show is probably the, the wife being gone. Everything else really wasn't taken too seriously. I mean, even, yeah, Kagoshi being in the hospital, most of that was, like, off-screen, you know, we didn't really see much of it, and even the amnesia thing didn't last that long, so, yeah, the show never really gets too dark or sad, but it definitely has its moments where it can get some tears out of you if you're, if you're not stone-hearted like I am, so, overall, yeah, it was really, it's been a really good show that really struck an interesting balance between, you know, the whole sad mystery kind of thing, and just the, the gag-to-gag, gag-to-gag skip-based stuff, and, I'd say it was a pretty solid, solid show overall. Hime was obviously a very, very fun, cute character, and Kagoshi himself was a pretty fun character in his own way. And just always trying his best to work hard at what he enjoys doing and trying to make a good life for Hime in spite of the tragedy that befell his family and really made you want to root for him, you know, encourage him and see him succeed. And especially because, you know, you want Hime to have a good life as well. So the show also did a good job making me really care about what was going on. You know, so, yeah, I really don't have too much to say about the show, really, because it was primarily a skit-to-skit-based show, but 
I liked it. I thought it was pretty good for what it was trying to do. And I certainly will miss it now that it's gone. I think that's pretty much everything I got to say on it. So let's get it and hand it off here. Thank you for watching. And a special thanks to Snoki and Ryan for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.